Well, hello guys. It's Ellie back at it again with another video. Guys, this feels really unnatural. You know what this feels like right now? It feels like when you're like best friends with someone and then you get into a huge fight and then like you decide not to be friends anymore but then like two years later you like miss them so then you like reach out to them again and then you guys like go and like get coffee or lunch but like you never really address that like you got into like a huge fight and then like you think that wow this is like a lot you think see like i'm used to tiktoks where i'm not allowed to talk for like this much time but it's literally been 40 seconds continuing my story and then you go to lunch with them and then you think like they know everything about your life but they actually don't because you guys haven't seen each other in two years that is how i feel right now anyway i am very excited to be back and talking to you guys i feel really bad and it's like on one hand i feel like i could address like oh yeah i haven't been on youtube for this amount of months or honestly like this amount of years at this point i mean it's the amount that look how much my hair has grown since last time last time you guys saw me my hair was like to here but i kind of i mean like yeah i think i'll address it because it's like kind of awkward i guess if i don't first of all it feels really weird and awkward just like talking to my camera again not weird and awkward but i think like like talking to you guys has come because I really want to it's not how do I explain this starting to vlog again and starting YouTube again is something that like wasn't why I'm so excited about it is because it wasn't like forced on me or it wasn't like pushed on me like no one not no like meaning like no one from like my team or like my mom or things like that have told me like oh you you need to like do this or like you need to or like you should or things like that it simply is because I really miss talking to my camera and I miss talking to you guys and I have become low-key really lonely and I just feel like you guys are my friends and it makes me really sad because I feel like it feels like in some way I kind of ditched you guys I guess that in I guess that like my YouTube channel to me when I look back at like my older videos I was just like a little baby i was 16 17 i like had never had a boyfriend before never lived anywhere but the places with my family haven't traveled that many places like i don't know like i just feel like i've done so much in the past year or two and i feel like a grown adult and i feel like i can show myself on the internet now as like more of an adult and i don't know i've just really missed you guys and I really hope that like in 2024 I can go back to growing my YouTube videos and just like make them better and better. I will warn you guys that I'm sure that this video is, I mean, I don't even know what it's going to be. I'm just gonna, like going to vlog what's going on. I really want to make my like quality better on my YouTube channel as the videos grow and just things like that. But. It feels really good to pick up this camera because I really missed you guys. Also, my makeup, I like got new, you know what I got is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And I've tried it, I think like three times now. I've bought it separate times within like different years. And every single time I try it and it breaks me out and it makes my makeup look so bad throughout the day. And I swear, I literally, I did it again two days ago. I went and got it at Sephora and I used it today. And I don't know if it's just like maybe my skin right now. I had such perfect skin for the past like few months and I was so proud of it. Like so, so proud of it. My mom knows. I would like talk about it all the time. Like I'm so proud of my skin, blah, blah, blah. And then two weeks ago or like a week and a half ago, I got so sick in bed and for like four nights in a row, I literally did not get up for like four days. But for four nights in a row, I like didn't wash my face at all and I was sweating so much, you know, when you're like just really sick and- <gasps> 
I accidentally moved my table. You know when you're just like really sick and sweating and my whole face broke out? So I'm in the process of trying to fix that, but hopefully it'll get fixed soon. I'm trying to think about like life updates that I can tell you guys. I'm sure like they'll come out as I vlog more and more and like explain, maybe this will help my makeup. My ADHD these days has been so bad actually. Okay, wait, let's try this. Okay, so this Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, I'm pretty sure is mattifying. It looks like this. But my skin right now is like really oily. Not even oily, because I like tried to make it that way, but just like really like glowy, I guess. So let's see if this helps. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, what I was saying is that I think like the updates will like come out as I keep recording and things like that. I guess let's go through some of the things that I have done. Okay. I've been living in this apartment now for two years. I move out in a month, actually. I'm moving back to San Diego. I'm leaving LA, getting out of here. I'm 19 years old right now. I think when I stopped vlogging, maybe I was 17, I want to say. Maybe I was 18. I don't know how to look. Anyway, I've been living in this apartment for two years now. I will give you guys an apartment tour. Maybe I'll do that in this vlog. Just because my apartment is clean right now. Kind of. And I'll do that before I move. I don't know. I'm sure that the updates will come out as I keep vlogging. But that's kind of all. Not meaning like that's all. But to be honest, I remembered that I ordered this microcurrent facial massager from Amazon and it came in the mail and I'm really excited to open it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I saw this girl on TikTok, her name's I think Holly Scar something. She was from Too Hot to Handle but I swear she's had like the biggest glow up. And whenever people have a glow up, I'm like, that is freaking impressive. I am going to do whatever you just did. This is what it looks like. It's kind of cool. And then you like go like this. I mean, I obviously have makeup on, but. So you like, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going ham on this thing tonight. We are using this tonight. And you like take these little balls and can like, roll the balls on the face. That's what she said. I felt like I was forgetting to tell you something. I do have big news actually. And the big news is that I have decided to go to college. Woo! Me saying that out loud does not sound as cool as if someone else was here to like cheer me up. Basically, I applied to go to UCLA and I got in, so we are going to college, school vlogs will be a thing, getting ready with me for schools, with school will be a thing, and my favorite type of videos, this is what why it feels so fitting to put this into my first YouTube video back, because these were my favorite videos to watch growing up. We're doing a back to school supplies haul. When I was little, I actually used to be clinically obsessed with these videos. And yesterday, my brother Will, after we went to the gym, was like, oh, I low-key really need a notebook. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need school supplies. Because I start, today is, I want to say, what day is it? Oh, today's Wednesday. And I start next Tuesday, so I start like almost in a week. But I'm going skiing with my dad in two days or a day. So I needed to get it now so that I'm like not rushing later. Also, I just really wanted to go. So let's get into my 2024 back to school haul. So the first thing I, by the way, this is not that exciting because I got like really basic stuff and I also don't know what I'm gonna need for the school year. I'm sure like I'll mostly just need my iPad, which I just got a new iPad and I'm obsessed with it. If you are on the fence about getting an iPad, it's actually my favorite thing ever way better than a computer in my opinion. But I've always wanted to be, I'm only taking a few classes and so um, just like warm up for myself, I don't know. But I've always wanted to be someone that can keep like the same notebook. So I got for the first thing, I got this five star college ruled three subject notebook. So like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like these little folder dividers. 
so that like this can be one subject and then like another one can be a subject. It's like three. I guess that's why they call it three subject. No shit, Ellie. Next thing that I got were these pencils, which my brother Will took some for school. They just look like this. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really like using pencils. I like using pens better, but I'm sure teachers prefer pencils. I don't know though, because I haven't been back to school in so long. Another thing that I got were these uh, Pilot G2 gel pens. They look like this. I remember all the really smart kids had these pens at school, so I got these. And then, oh, I was going to get a pack of highlighters and pencils, but then my brother Will was like, no, Ellie, like, just take mine, blah, blah, blah. And I was like trying to save money at Target, to be honest. I was getting clearly carried away. And while I was cleaning out my room in San Diego to this morning, before I like, I, my dad drove me back to LA this morning, but I was in San Diego, I found my old pencil box. So in the pencil box, it has these really, these are like the best pencils ever. And I found two of them and black is my favorite color for pencils. I feel like it's so sleek. And then I found the pack of three highlighters and I love these highlighters. So I'm very excited about this and a little notebook or pencil holder. And the last thing that I got were these icebreakers because they're very good. I guess while we're here, I also got something at Lululemon because I am addicted. It's this really cute pink little long sleeve. It's like magenta color. My New Year's resolution is to get better at golf and I figured I could wear this golfing and it could be really cute. So... Yeah, I know that was really short, but I warned you guys because now that I'm in college, I need not that much supplies because I go to college. Just kidding. I sound really annoying, but I'm just getting you. See, this is usually where I'm telling you guys. I've tried filming videos in the past like year and a half and I always like halfway through get sick of the way that I'm talking and I just give up and think like, okay, I just won't do this anymore. So this is usually where I would give up, but I'm not going to. But just know that if I sound annoying that hopefully I will get better at this. Oh my gosh. And while I was at Target, I got this awesome water bottle. If you guys live near Target, get this water bottle. It's so helpful, especially if you wanna drink more water. It has all these like inspirational, wait, I'll show you. It has all these like inspirational notes. I can't really get this camera. I need to get a new camera, honestly. Oh, here we go. Things like uh, Rise and Shine, let's go, let's make it happen, keep chugging, halfway there. All of it, and it's purple, which is my favorite color, and huge. And hopefully this also will make my skin feel better. My friend Sophia, who I haven't seen in like seven or eight months, hasn't been seven or eight months, it feels like that, in a really long time, just invited to me to go to, well, she didn't necessarily invite me first. She's going to dinner with her friend, and she lives it, like 40 minutes away and she's in like my area and I was like oh my gosh are you still here or are you gonna be here for dinner and she's like oh yeah me and my friend are going to dinner do you want to come so I'm crashing the dinner but she is just wearing jeans and a skims top so I need to change and then low-key go now because I'm already late I'm actually wearing the ugliest outfit I have ever seen I'm wearing these pants that I just got that come with a matching top but I don't want to wear like the full set yet because this isn't necessarily the occasion a white tank top and a flannel and I don't know if I should put sneakers on or if I can wear these shoes I mean like I can wear these shoes it's like a pretty chill restaurant but this is not very Ellie of me okay so I'm kind of stupid and I actually got the location wrong of the restaurant and turns out the restaurant is actually on her part of town, which is like 40 minutes away. And by the time I got there, I would have missed the dinner completely. So we're not doing that. And now I don't have to show my ugly outfit to the world. So 
I guess instead I'm going to work out. I'm low-key just like really lonely because the past few days I was in San Diego and I was on a trip with my family and I'm used to like all of them being around and now I'm just alone and there is me. So yeah. So instead of going to dinner, because I did happen to just go to lunch like three hours ago. I went to lunch with my manager, Rebecca, today, which was very nice. I am going to go to the gym. And for some reason, when I go to the gym in the morning, I wear like cute matching workout sets. When I go to the gym at night, I wear the most random sets ever. So, I'm gonna go to the gym. Maybe I'll try and vlog it on my phone because my camera's about to die, so I need to charge it while I'm there. The fact, I swear this always happens, the fact that my hair looks good right before going to the gym, this always happens. Where I like don't wanna mess it up because it actually, whatever. I'll figure out how to do it again tomorrow. And I'll show you guys. Okay, well, I'm gonna charge my camera battery and go to the gym. Love you. Bye. This cannot be real. I swear. This is crazy. I walk up and it says the gym is out of order. Look at the floors of the gym, guys. Is this a joke? Is this actually... Guys, look at the pool. That... Okay, so clearly nothing was supposed to work out tonight because the gym is out of order and dinner didn't work out and all my friends are busy. So I don't know if this means that I should order dinner in and go to bed. Loki really want to do that or like, I don't know. What do I do? I don't know if that makes me sound like annoying, but... The fact that I put effort into putting gym clothes on and it's closed is crazy. All right, back from the phone camera. I am going to take a shower now. And yeah, I finished my water, so feeling good. That is my update. I love vlogging. I don't know why I didn't do it for so long. It feels so fun. Say hi to my vlog. Hi! It's Michelle's 21st birthday! All right, everyone. I just talked to Michelle and Julia and Emma for like 45 minutes, and I am feeling so happy right now. I was just, I was just making a TikTok about this, but I am freshly showered, Freshly lotioned, did my skincare, made mint tea that I am drinking. My sheets are freshly cleaned. I have dinner coming on the way and I am about to go to bed and it's 8 p.m. and life is so good. These are the moments where I regret like constantly being like, oh my God, I want a boyfriend, I want a boyfriend, I want a boyfriend because I know that like if I had a boyfriend, I would not be doing this right now. Like when I was in my last relationship I feel like I let go of all self-care and like it's in these moments where I've like no one bothering me and no one disturbing my peace I'm just so at peace and like happy alone I know I was just complaining about being lonely but like right now I'm very happy about it that I think like if you're watching this and single right now think about the fact that like we will probably be married one day hopefully honestly but like once you're married and have kids this moment like will not exist and while i'm 19 right now and while we're young we should just enjoy it and not put so much pressure on wanting to like date people or not like date people but like have a boyfriend so badly like i am guilty of like admitting that like i want that like all the time and like i talk about it with my friends all the time and whatever but like in reality, oh my gosh, someone's calling me. No, no. My motivational speech was interrupted by Michelle.
telling me that someone specific texted her for her birthday. But dinner just got here. I did order dinner and honestly, I'm quite happy about it. I love you guys and I'm going to go to bed and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. first time vlogging in the new car and it actually is like there's a tripod set up so we are really the day is off to a great start ladies and gentlemen good morning everyone look at my new little car setup I'm still kind of figuring it out because I wouldn't want the steering wheel as much to be in the way but for the first time and just setting it right up it works and for it being 7 a.m. it also works so last night after I said goodnight to you guys, I started watching an athletic documentary and it really motivated me, all like the players and athletes being like, you just gotta do it, like blah, blah, blah. It really motivated me to, in that moment at 10 p.m., open my phone and schedule a 7 a.m. Barry's class, 7.25 to be exact, and so I'm actually proud of myself. I got up. The only bad thing is when I schedule things really early is I have anxiety all night about going to it. And so I slept so badly, but it's fine. Day two of using my water bottle and I'm still very happy with her. So life is good. So I am going to blast music and hype myself up for this workout. I have not been to Barry's boot camp in honestly like maybe seven or eight months oh my gosh saying that out loud is really rough you know when like the light is red for a long time and so you think like am i even on the sensor bro there's no way i just pulled up and then it turned green so maybe i wasn't on the sensor okay anyway i'm not going to vlog and drive because that is dangerous but the only thing i really like about la is when it's the morning time. I love LA in the morning. It's very relaxing. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you. Guys, I show up to this Barry's class thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so on time. Like it starts at 7.30. I literally said on the vlog, it starts at 7.45. Oh my gosh, this car is like backing into me. Hmm. Impressive. Anyway, I am pulling up and it's literally 7.24 and I'm like, oh my gosh, it starts at 7.25, I need to go. So I couldn't bring my camera in because I was so much in a rush and walking into a workout class late is, if you've done it before, it's embarrassing. But anyway, clearly I feel very good. I chugged the rest of my water, so I'm feeling happy about that. It is currently 9 a.m. and I'm going to go into a doctor's appointment right now and then I think get breakfast with my friend Will. So yeah, I'm currently listening to this really good podcast. This is one of my favorite podcasts to get like updates about the world. It's called The Daily. Pretty sure it's by the New York Times or something like that. I, it's like the New York Times podcast. I right now don't really agree with the New York Times way of writing things, but that's besides the point. I'm currently listening to this one. It's called Anti-Semitism and Free Speech on Campuses. Oh, on college campuses and I really like it so far. It's talking about when the head of all these colleges came together and talked about anti-semitism. So currently learning about that and um, my appointment is in five minutes. So I need to pay for parking and go. Hi guys, I'm at the breakfast. <laughs> Okay, I am back from breakfast with my friend Will and now I am going to get ready for the day 
take a body shower because I washed my hair last night. I feel so dumb for washing my hair last night. And then this morning I did, you know, berries, which if you've ever done it, you like guarantee sweat or you're like guaranteed to sweat. And I need to pack because I'm going on a little ski trip with my dad and brother tomorrow. So, yeah. But before I do all of that, I wanted to do an apartment tour in this video before I forget and before I move out. This is going to be like the least official apartment tour ever because I did no prep to like put things away. Like my apartment's clean, but like I didn't put anything away for it. So my stuff is just everywhere. Whenever my friends come over, I always describe my apartment as just like, it's just like girl center. Like it's just, there's shoes everywhere, there's clothes everywhere, there's makeup everywhere. I just keep it very girl. And also when I moved in, I didn't like get, I didn't decorate it exactly like how I would or like wanted to because I knew at some point I would move out and now I am. So I guess we got to that point. Okay, so when you first walk in, here is the door. And then this is like the overview of the apartment at first. And then here is the guest bathroom. This is where I do a lot of makeup videos because the lighting's very good. And I have so much perfume and little pictures of my mom, my mom and her grandma, things like that. And then I just have this little art piece that I got, I think at the LA Trading Post. and. If you've never been to LA before, you should go to the LA Trading Post. I haven't been in so long, or not the LA Trading Post, it's called the Mellorous Trading Post. I haven't been in so long, but it's great. It's really, really good for art too. So then you walk out of the bathroom and there are these three little prints that I hung up all alone by myself. I was very impressed with myself. I have all my packages over here, but they say my address all over them. So I'm not gonna show you that. But this is like my, see, this is just so girl. Like this is, this is Ellie in a, in a situation. That I have most of my shoes or like my everyday, actually not even everyday, just like a ton of shoes down here. My like everyday bags and things like that that I keep here. Jewelry that I take off when I step through the door. This is like my entrance thing. I have this really great, if you have a lot of sunglasses, I highly recommend buying this case. I got it from Amazon. I want to say it was like, $40 and it's so cute and green and I really really like it and then I just have this lamp here This is what I meant by like I didn't prep things like I didn't put this jacket away or like my stuff from my haul yesterday I have all my furniture is from this company called whom home w-h-o-m I just have a few little things here a little picture of my brother, which is very cute and then this pink chair This is just my TV. I keep my golf clubs here in the corner and then here is another area See my apartment is basically just like all normal apartment things and then random areas where you can tell that I film videos Like I used to film all my videos right here and then I switched the bathroom over there I like to switch it up. This just has a ton of products on it right now because I was sent a ton of things for the holidays that I just put on here, but as we can see I have my little vanity mirror and dirty chair that has so much makeup on it. I don't know if that's gross to show, but it's it's real. I just have this clothing rack, so when I'm packing for trips, I can like hang things up while I'm doing it. Honestly, it's kind of messy and it usually is not there, but it's there now apparently. And then, so we're in this area. There's like a huge area where there's nothing. I'm trying to get like an overview shot, but I can't. I'm not doing a good job at it. Here is my little dining setup. I have obviously four chairs and then just a little thing. Someone gave me this book for my birthday one time. It's the Lady Bird, which is one of my favorite movies script. And then just an Andy Warhol puzzle. And then this I got in Israel. It's purple, which is my favorite color. And then this painting is by an incredible artist. I love it. I've had this painting for so long, like my whole TikTok career basically. And it's so special to me and so cool in my opinion. Then here's like the pool outside area. And on my windowsill, I keep all of these little 
I don't want to call them rocks because technically they're not. They're for like good energy. What would you call these? Stones? It's like rose quartz or things like that. Things that like are good for energy and I keep them by the window because I heard they're supposed to charge in the moonlight. Then I just have my tripod. Moving on to the kitchen. Here's the overview of the kitchen. On my like main little area, I just have some cute things like candles, roses, which I bought for myself because love that. Glasses, my mom's earrings and this huge bottle of Glossier U, which is my favorite perfume. And then just these little prints from my favorite artist. And then some menorahs here. My backsplash is a mirror and it's so funny because whenever people are in my apartment and I'm standing here and they're standing on the other side, I can always tell they're looking at themselves in the mirror and I do the same thing. It's a very good like check before you walk out the door, like, do I have anything in my teeth? Things like that. And then this is usually how it looks actually, so we're just being honest here. Another area where I keep my Nespresso, pictures of my family. Brother got me these cool Supreme cups for my birthday last year, which was very nice. Thank you, Will. Cool artwork of me, which was cool in the moment. Oopsies. Then in this area, I'm really just getting into everything. I have my pantry. It's really full right now because I was sick recently and my mom ordered me a ton of groceries. And so, as you can tell, we have the NyQuil, DayQuil, and Canada Dry. So we were very stacked. And then here is my fridge, which is also very, this is probably the fullest my fridge has ever been since I've lived here. As we can tell, I have a ton of drinks in here. As we can also tell, my favorite drinks are Celsius, so I'll drink one of these for working out, and I love them. Okay, moving on from the main area, except in this closet, this is like the entrance closet. I just have a ton of coats, which is honestly, I like when like everything's set up and looks cute. And then you go through this hallway. This is my washer and dryer, and then we have more shoes on the ground. A picture of my family. This is where I keep like jewelry and stuff like that. And this cute mirror that my mom got me as a present a few years ago from Anthropology. And then you go this way and we have my mirrors that I'm always taking mirror selfies in. I put two of them here. And then this is like my guest room closet area, which is usually such a mess. I just keep my clothes in here and there's a lot of them hung up. I need to donate a ton of stuff before moving out. It's going to be, it's definitely going to be a process, but we will get there. And then this is just my guest bathroom, which has my 100k subscriber plaque, which I love, which just looks like this. I never really come in here because it has terrible lighting, as you can tell. My guests do. My non-existent guests. Okay, and then this is my main area, my main room. As we saw, my bed, my nightstand. I'm pretty sure my nightstand, I actually have no idea where it's from, but I'm pretty sure it's from Target or something like that. Actually, I know for sure that lamp is from Target. And then when I moved in, it was so bright in here. And I thought when moving in that like I wouldn't, they were like, do you want blackout shades? And I was like, oh no, no, I don't want blackout shades because then I'm gonna sleep more and I need to work harder to like be able to pay for this apartment and I wanna wake up earlier. That was a terrible idea because when I'm sick or even like in the mornings when I do need to sleep in just because from traveling and things like that, it was so bright in here and so we got someone to hang up these long curtains which I really like the look of right now. They're kind of bejangled but they usually look really good. And then I just have this couch, which is clearly a dumping area, and I just got back from my trip, as you can tell. Here, I keep more shoes in. This is like my main closet where I keep all of my everyday clothes. I'm really noticing in this video how I have an addiction to clothes, and I promise I'm getting rid of so many of them when I move and donating a ton of things. But I just keep like my everyday jeans, my sweats, my pajamas, things like that. And then this is the last part. Here is my bathroom. I keep this mirror. This is another area where I make videos. All my stuff is usually everywhere, which again, very fitting. Have my shower, bathtub, things like that. And that is my apartment tour. I'm going to be honest, 
I am happy I filmed this because I will probably look back on it and miss this apartment, but my throat kind of hurts from talking so much, TBH. Anyway, I am going to do my makeup and make TikToks and get ready for my day. And I will see you guys probably when I'm starting to pack. I'll show you guys how I pack. Oh my gosh, my fake tan looks so good. Just kidding. We are back in the, wow, this lighting is terrible. Okay, we're just gonna go back here apparently because I don't know how to fix the lighting. But I packed shown there now i'm at my friend will's house who i got breakfast with and we we're going to play tennis for a little bit I want to get better at tennis in 2024 and that's it there he is hi guys i just finished tennis probably like 30 minutes ago i am almost an hour into a two and a half hour drive i'm driving back home to my family's house and I'm really tired. Sure, that's the update. Yay, I'm home in San Diego and I look so freaking rough. I'm so sorry, not I'm sorry. Who, literally, you guys don't care. I'd at least I'd hope so. I just got back from playing golf. I'm now in San Diego. Guys, we moved houses again. We have so many updates in this vlog. Look how cute, they just finished my, we're redoing the house, but they just finished my closet today. And it's like this little vanity get ready with me area and the whole thing's pink. So cute. And we're like redoing this back area, which is a little messy, but I just wanted to, I guess, wrap up this video. Hopefully I filmed enough for a video I don't even know anymore. But I think my next video will either be a skiing vlog or honestly comment down below videos that you guys want me to see in the least YouTuber way possible. I, I think that like one of my biggest, I guess like things that held me back from coming back to YouTube was my first video back and feeling like it needed to be this like crazy thing and like me explain why I was gone and all these like things and the fact that I just got to pick up the camera and like vlog and pick up my life where it is right now this is why I have so much black under my eyes because I keep going like this because it's like allergy season right now but I think like it was very helpful that I just didn't even like I don't know I just picked up the camera and vlogged so I am so I'm so grateful for all of you guys. Thank you for letting me come back, I guess. I mean, hopefully, I don't know. You guys could hate this video, but let me know. Thank you guys for accepting me back, I hope. And I promise that more videos are coming. And again, please comment down below what you want me to see because I, I will actually make it. And I love you so, so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. 2024, Ellie. We back.